morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear stones and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and the birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Oh, the changes I've seen. Oh, just peace. It's so nurturing that there's a really peaceful environment. There's no loud noises or the children play peacefully. The parents um, seem to become, uh, seem to be more united as a group. So it's becoming more like a community. Thorowal is based here at Campbelltown in outer west of Sydney. It's the second largest indigenous community in Australia, outside uh, Mount Drew, Blacktown and Penrith. We're in an area which is uh, public housing estates, you know, which uh, in itself uh, creates a lot of problems. We've got a high level of unemployment and the Aboriginal community is higher than that. We've got a high level of uh, families with single parents, up to 70%, which is pretty high with kids under the age of 15. I coordinate the early intervention programs, so working a lot with the young mums and dads, um, grandparents. Really, really culturally appropriate. Um, Indigenous people don't like to be overpowered by too many things, and if you do things more gentle and subtle, and this program, that's how it works. These things happened a long time ago. And at that time, Tiddalik was the most enormous frog anybody had ever seen. Tiddalik was so enormous. So it's going back to the traditional way of things, of working with all those natural materials. So yeah, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, and they just, they love coming to playgroup. We have mums that never miss out. If they're there every single week. They're learning new ways, uh, new foods that they can cook. Um, I'm bringing a lot of organic food so that they can really taste the difference. Huge changes in the behaviour of the children. Where you had children coming in and running around, you know, running, running circles around us, quite literally, while we were telling stories, singing songs, and now sitting on the parents' laps. Good morning, dear Earth. Good morning, dear Sun. Good morning, are more dear Stone. It's not the screaming match that they used to have with their two-year-olds. It's that it was changing their behaviour and the kids while they were here. What I've seen here today with the kids, some of the wild kids, they're not wild anymore. We need to carry these sort of things into our own homes. I could see the difference. So the behaviour had changed for the parents because they could see the benefits through the children. We all jump up! <laughs> and, and, and I'm talking about things that they've made. It's, it's real, isn't it? It's not the plastic stuff you buy at Toys R Us or Woolworths or Kmart and all those stores. These, these kids here, they're dealing with all this stuff. They're not throwing it away and kicking it away. They're actually sitting down and playing with it. The parents don't realise that they're learning lots of new skills and they're getting the chance to practise their parenting in a, a very calm and quiet environment. And for the parents in the playgroup, they're much more engaged with the health needs of their children. And having a, an opportunity to join a group where you can focus just on your relationship with the child. I came so my daughter's got some interaction with kids her own age. And she loves it. I love it. I've met a lot of new people and it's great. It's fantastic. My two-year-old, which will be two on Friday, um, she is actually now sharing, um, understanding that she needs to share with people. She's actually getting more talkative. I've actually noticed that my little girl learned quite a lot from the other children as well as uh, the activities that she does here. As soon as she come here and seen all the kids eating, now she eats cereal, so it's really good. Healthier food, yes. Put on more weight. She's got much advanced as well in her uh, skills and knowledge, so I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy to come here anytime. We've been coming to groups since it started. Um, kids benefit from it a lot. They learn routine, um, songs, they dance and they're interacting with other kids as well. So they learn how to communicate a lot better. 
the, the opportunity for the parents and the children to um, interact and learn to explore their loving bonds with each other, which is, which is fantastic. And I was, it was unbelievable to see the kids sitting there and doing that, making the bread and the dough and all that sort of stuff, but doing it with their parents. It's been fantastic, like it's been, I think it's just like a breath of fresh air that's come through here because, like I said, they've tried everything else and things aren't working for the children. I'd love to see the group run five days a week. And I'm concerned about a lot of the mental issues within the community. I think this is an opportunity where we're able to work on those things at an early life. So I would recommend this program to any Aboriginal medical service or any Aboriginal community because it's, it's you're dealing with the natural things in life. I think it's a must. Goodbye now, goodbye now, it's time to...